Hey, this is a buyer preview for 6910 Beach Drive house. Here's the house itself. Uh, this is the street it's on. It's Beach Drive. It runs parallel with Thomas Drive, just one block over. So those houses that sit up there, those are right on Thomas Drive. Basically, you're two blocks from the actual beach. This is the area. That's what the houses look like. It's kind of a mix between the house that were built in, in it looks like in 2000s and then a little older 80s right there it's, it's a mix now this side is considered it could be considered commercial as well um there's not very many houses right now i'm sure they're going to be uh building here that's a little older cottage there's uh some vacant lots there so it looks like that's a parking lot for the business um so let me take a take you on a tour inside the house so this house uh has is on the septic tank the septic is located on the right side over over behind the carport however the county did put all the sewer lines on beach drive just a few months ago there should be an option to hook up to the county sewer and the reason is in case somebody wanted to add a pool later on like behind the carport uh, you would have to hook up to the um, city sewer line and then in this case county sewer line and then dig up the septic and add a pool here so that's the add-on that's the back of the house that's the add-on um this is t11 si uh, um, siding it's wooden not optimal for this climate being it was in a high humidity climate um, it rots pretty fast it needs to be taken care of for sure. Look, you know, like this side, it, it doesn't see sunlight. Uh, so it gets probably mold and mildew over it. So it needs to be cleaned. It needs to be fixed. And then this needs to be painted. I would say the whole house, all of it, the exterior need to be painted. You see the wood right, right over here. See, if you don't take care of it, then termites will. All right, let me take you first into this, what they call mother-in-law suite, which isn't really finished. Let me find my way back out. I expected it to be a little more finished than the condition it's in right now. <clears throat> so as you come in, this is the open area. I guess this would be your living area here eventually. This is gonna need a lot of work. Bathroom, laundry, Let's see, electric panel, which is not hooked up. And then there's more space here, which is hard to see. Um, and then the water heater seats right back behind there. It's a 2012 water heater. Let me go back out. It, it's a lot of, it's, it's just basically right now, it's a shell. And then I'm going to go upstairs to the main house. So same with the stairs, the wood. Some of it needs to be replaced or screwed in like I can, like this one right here. All of the windows in all of the rooms have these window units. The reason is I'm going to guess that the water, the air, current air conditioning is not strong enough big enough to support the house the square footage of the house i did check it's it is 2011 air conditioning unit so again we just one block to thomas drive from there one block to the beach great area i personally have a condo in this building right over here and then i have a townhouse uh located right next to that condo over there so i know the area here is good i like it it's quieter than being um, in the middle of Panama City Beach. We've got this nice patio that which is facing south, so you're gonna have, you know, sun here pretty much three three hundred sixty five days, other than a few days here and there. All right, here's the living room. So there's carpet throughout. Not ideal for the beach location.
and then you have a slider uh, this one and then also the one next door uh, in in the in the in the bedroom to go outside onto the patio i saw lock it up on the way out so those were the units i was talking about uh carpet is stained in some areas but again i would replace carpet altogether the kitchen cabinets look like original to the house doesn't look like they've been replaced I would definitely take this down to open it up. I'm just looking to see if I see any watermarks, stains. I didn't see any. Overall, just like some maintenance as well. Need some updating. So this is the front bedroom. This is not a master. Has two windows here and a slider to go out to the balcony which they have currently blocked by this couch. Okay. Hallway bathroom. You know, again, you want to replace those. Just a little rust here. It's just a lot of cosmetical stuff here to, to deal with. The roof is 2011. So this is where wash and dryer should really go, right there. We have wash and dryer hookup. Um, and then the interior air handler AC unit. I didn't find it inside. I'm going to guess that it's up in the attic. Is my guess. Because that's the thermostat. But there's no closet for the AC closet. And then again, here's another bedroom. Another window unit there. And here's the master bedroom. It has a king size bed, another window unit. And then of course carpet throughout, like I said, it has tile in the uh, bathrooms. Here's the master bathroom. All in all, I mean, it's it's a nice location. It has good bones. The house needs some updating. And the house needs some new furniture in order to stand out and to make a great short-term rental. There you go.